everybody. I haven't posted a hack in a while, so here's one to fix that. Uh, I've always really, really liked stock tickers. They're really cool, really interesting bit of technology. Unfortunately, getting a vintage one is incredibly expensive. So instead of that, I got one of these. This is a Dymo Label Writer 450. It's a small thermal printer that's intended for printing mailing labels, name tags, that sort of thing. I've modified it slightly to allow it to take standard two and a quarter inch uh, thermal paper rolls that you would normally see used in a cash register. Uh, all I've really done is taken a little piece of um, coat hanger. I don't want to take it apart because I can't really focus the camera and take it apart at the same time, but I've taken a little chunk of coat hanger, used a zip tie to make a new sort of end stop for it, and that allows these uh, continuous rolls of paper uh, to fit into the printer without using the spool that, uh, that came with it, which is uh, just slightly too big to allow a roll of cheapo paper to fit. So what I built on top of that is a little bit of code uh, using uh, Ruby, uh, the R Magic library built on top of Image Magic, uh, the Twitter gem, uh, and of course I'll uh, credit all the folks that um, are responsible for this stuff in the credits. Um, but I threw together a little bit of code that goes out, searches Twitter every 30 seconds, uh, looks for a particular hashtag. Any uh, tweets that are found with that hashtag are uh, converted into an image uh, formatted nicely for the 300 dpi uh, thermal print head uh, that the Dymo has, and then they are thrown out the USB bus to the printer. So if you want to see this work, uh, I'm going to uh, load up the printer uh, with a fresh roll of paper. Uh, any tweets that you make with the uh, slightly randomly selected hashtag of, uh, I don't know if I can zoom that far, can I? No, I can't. Oh yeah, here, there we go. Any tweets that you make with the hashtag of cookie hammer, I picked the first two words that came into my head, will come out uh, of the printer. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what, uh, what happens here. We'll, uh, we'll do a quick demo here. Uh, we'll go, this is just the standard web-based Twitter. What's happening? This, uh, get a little closer here. This is the test I'm doing for the YouTube video. Hashtag cookie hammer. And I've made a few uh, other test posts as you can see, but I am following the uh, best practices uh, that are laid out in the document for the API and ignoring tweets that I've already printed. Uh, so if I go, this is the test I'm doing for the YouTube video, hashtag cookie hammer, hit tweet. Uh, this may take a little bit longer than 30 seconds, depending on when I come in in the loop. Uh, it'll be some increment of 30 seconds, I would imagine. Also depends on their update speed. Also, interestingly enough, I have uh, uh, the raw data that's being sent to the printer kicked out to the screen, and if you look at it just at a distance and blur your eyes, I don't know if this will work on video, but you can see this is a test. Cookie hammer. So that's kind of cool. So possibly, oh, there we go. Something just kicked out of the printer. Uh, I'll uh, give it a form feed here just so you can see what just came out. I have form feeds turned off to save paper, but I'll do it manually. And in fact, you can see this is the test I'm doing for the YouTube video, pa hash cookie hammer. So yeah, send a tweet. I'm going to load up some fresh paper. Uh, don't worry, I'll recycle it once it's done. Uh, and uh, yeah, see how much of my paper you can burn off. This will be awesome. Uh, have a good night. Later.